I've run interviews with uh, a lot of writers, modern writers, and many of them, not all, but many, uh, cite Jane Austen as one of the main influences on their writing. And uh, I, of course, wonder why. Well, let's take a look at the book uh, Persuasion. This is the last one of the six novels that she wrote. And I would say it's a, it's a, pretty, a pretty good one. Uh, the plot is uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, you've got this little family, the Elliots. Uh, they're kind of threadbare uh, aristocrats, someplace in England, which I don't quite understand. Uh, and uh, the heroine of the book, uh, Anne Elliot, is the middle uh, one of three sisters. Her oldest is Elizabeth, the youngest is uh, named Mary. Mary is married. Uh, Elizabeth is living with her father. And uh, what happens is that very early, when Anne is a uh, teenager, she falls in love with a guy named uh, Wentworth, who happens to be a very junior Navy officer. And uh, she and he become sort of formally engaged, and she gets talked out of marrying her by uh, marrying him. Uh, by a woman named Lady Russell, who happens to be her dead mother's, uh, have been her dead mother's uh, best friend. Talked out of it. That's where the title Persuasion comes in. And Anne uh, becomes persuaded not to marry him. She ends up not marrying anybody. Eight years go by, and uh, kind of the threadbareness of the uh, Elliot family catches up with them. And uh, uh, they end up having to move out of uh, their manor house. And uh, th this junior officer shows up again, uh, related to the people who rented the uh, manor. And uh, now it turns out he's a, a Royal Navy captain. He's made a lot of money. He's quite successful. And uh, what happens during the story is that she and he end up uh, bumping up against one another in different little settings, and uh, ultimately uh, she marries him. Again, against uh, Lady Russell's advice, but she is now determined to follow her own mind, her own conscience, and so on. So, a kind of a standard uh, Jane Austen plot. Now, what makes it so good? Why would anybody pay attention to it and really, uh, uh, if you're a writer, take, uh, take a lesson from it? Well, the one thing about Jane Austen's books, all of them, uh, that I've noticed, is that she sets up the plot and the main characters very, very quickly in the book. In the first few pages, you get the entire picture, which saves a lot of time and gets you right into, uh, right into the story. The second thing she does is she paints very uh, compelling pictures of the characters in the book and gives them uh, characteristics that uh, she manages to develop by their conversation, by their conduct, and so on. For example, in the book Persuasion, Anne Elliot, the heroine, is like all of uh, Jane Austen's heroines. Uh, she's very smart. She's independent, ultimately. Uh, she's uh, very balanced, sort of buttoned up. She doesn't let her feelings show too much. Uh, she's uh, kind of the ugly duckling of the Elliot family. Uh, but she deals with it and uh, in a very, um, what should I say, classy way. Now, her father and her uh, bigger sister, Elizabeth, are uh, super uh, vain, super arrogant, super conceited, uh, and uh, they, they behave that way, they talk that way. Her, si her younger sister, Mary, is uh, kind of on the, uh, what would you say, flighty side. And, uh, you know, all, all of these people, all four of them, of course, figure in the, in the book. Uh, Wentworth, the guy that she was going to marry when she was a teenager and, and was talked out of, uh, he's, he ends up being a totally admirable character. And 
uh, he behaves exactly that way. Now she's got other characters in the book uh, that aren't noble, that are, there's nothing likable about them, like a Mrs. Clay who's trying to be her father's girlfriend, uh, a guy named William Elliot who happens to be uh, the estranged cousin of the family who's actually going to inherit uh, this manor when, uh, when Anne's father, Sir Walter, dies. Uh, and she betray, uh, portrays each of them the way that you would see it. And it comes through very, very loud and, and clear. So they're completely distinct personalities, completely distinct uh, characteristics, uh, really well, well scoped. Now, what she does, another thing, is that she kind of is, uh, she, Jane Austen, is kind of an observer of the British society of her time and the kinds of things that they were concerned about. Money, marrying for money, uh, uh, you know, uh, this uh, class, super class consciousness. Uh, and life, uh, I mean, she paints a pi great picture of daily life. And in fact, in terms of me and you, you would say, this is kind of boring, you know, the, the main highlight of a day might be going for a walk, you know, as opposed to sitting around and uh, scrolling through your iPad for an hour or so. Uh, so she paints a very good picture, a very clear picture of her society, of daily life in her society. And then finally, uh, her books all have happy endings. And I'm, I'm going to be honest to say, I kind of like happy endings. So anyway, Jane Austen, uh, and, and of course the happy ending in Persuasion is that Anne does end up marrying or getting engaged to Captain Wentworth, but you know that they're going to ultimately get married. I find uh, Jane Austen to be uh, quite uh, compelling reading. I mean, the language is really archaic, and you got to go a few pages to get, to kind of get your mind into it. Uh, the sentences are quite convoluted. You have a sense that uh, Jane Austen spent a lot of time studying classical languages because the sentences are really, I, uh, some of them, are really complex. However, the humor in the books, the plot, the way it moves along. All of it, I think, keeps you reading Jane Austen. So here's, here's this little lady. She only wrote six full-length novels in her life. Uh, she went through a long period where she was out of print and whatnot. But then she came back, and it's, it looks like uh, she's had an impact. And certainly, I find her books very, very entertaining. I've read them several times, like them all. Uh, I think uh, if you pick up Persuasion, I think you'll like it. It's, uh, it's, to my mind, it's really quite accessible, maybe more so than some of her other, uh, her other novels. In any event, Jane Austen, terrific. I absolutely, absolutely recommend it.